So the January transfer window is now closed. It was a busy deadline day for the Blues. A lot of exits. And I'm joined by Ben Diaf to discuss and reflect on the window as a whole. Uh, ben, deadline day was not a quiet day at Portman Road. There was a lot of business going on. A lot of players leaving the club. Um, the big name is Scott Fraser. Let's start with him. He has joined League One rivals in Charlton. Uh, sounds like we've made a profit on him. But um, a lot of fans, it's... Yeah, they're very much on the fence on this one. Some are disappointed. Some thought, yeah, they're okay. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, thanks, Ross. Um, Scott Fraser, excellent sort of background in terms of stats and figures in League One. Um, was, you know, at the time, I thought he was going to be a brilliant signing for us. Um, I think, to be honest, it hasn't worked out. Um, I'm comfortable with the fact that we've uh, let him leave. It, um, I think, as you said on the main pod, and I've seen a lot of people, a lot of fans worried that it might come back to bite us. Um, again, I understand both points of view. Um, from the town point of view, he wasn't getting in the team. Uh, we've got a Luco, who I think a bit of a surprise package who's got ahead of him in the pecking order. Selina and Chaplin came with with even bigger ped pedigrees um, in terms of what our expectations would be for players of that calibre. So his favourite number 10 position, he was just never going to get there. We've seen him out wide. We've seen him defensively. Um, he just didn't ever offer enough, I don't think. Um, he just sometimes and never really looked fully fit. I know he's picked up a few niggles as well. So along with that and, and the start he had in the town shirt, it, it just it seems to me that the fact we've got the money back that we paid for him there and thereabouts, yes, he's gone to Charlton, but sometimes it doesn't always work out. I, I feel not sorry for him, but a bit sad for the club that it didn't work out for him. But I completely understand the move. It's a good move for him. Not all players are the right fit for the right clubs at the right time. So I just think it's one for all parties. It's best to write it off. Not think about it. I don't think he would have been any asset to us the second half of the season with the players I mentioned ahead of him. So he was never going to get the game time. We may as well get the money back. He's gone to Charlton. Hopefully they can pick up a few points against our rivals. We've got to look after ourselves. If we play well, it don't really it won't really matter what Charlton do. So good luck, to Scott Fraser. I understand the frustrations of letting him go, but realistically, I did not see him getting into our team. He'd have been a bit part player. You know, forget what he's done in previous seasons. It wasn't working out at town. Definitely. And um, another man who was uh, another, you know, exciting so signing in the summer, and that's Rakeem Harper. He's um, joined a League One side on loan, uh, Crew Alexander. Um, well, this was probably a shock to a lot of town fans. Um, there was possibly links of him going to League Two, but I think we're probably happy he's in League One. Um, what's your thoughts on that, Ben? It's um, He'll be fighting relegation with Crew. How do you think about this one? Yeah, so Rakeem the Dream, as Mark has um, christened him, came in with too much fanfare. I think even West Brom fans were um, questioning whether he'd make it with them uh, in the championship. Um, along with Edwards, I think both of those two have probably have been our most disappointing signings. Not in respect of but just of where we held we held them quite quite high regard when they came first came through the door. So with Harper going on loan, I know you know it's not moving out um, permanently, so there is a chance for him to rekindle his town career when he comes back. Just makes sense for all parties, really. Another one that wasn't getting into the centre of our midfield. I don't think Cook played him um, or he, we never found the best position for him. He did get a chance, you know, first five, six, seven games of the season. Just didn't hit the ground running. It's so important with these new signings that they, that they get in, they get comfortable. Like any player, confidence is so important. He's coming off the bench and hasn't looked anything when he's come off the bench in uh, little cameos. Hard to do, I know. But again, let's get him out, give him some minutes. Crew's a good side. I thought they actually played really well in, in, in the game where we just snuck in 2-1 when they were bottom of the league. They try and play good football, um, the McKenna type of football. So like um, Stu and Andy commented on the main pod, good, um, good that we're playing proper football at Crew. Hopefully, again, they can pick up some points against some rivals. He can put in a few good displays and come back to us ready to go for next year. Definitely. And um, we're going to talk about another midfielder here, and that is John Nolan. Um, of course, hasn't played for us for over a year. Um, signed as that joint signing with Toto Enciala back in 2018 under Paul Hurst. Um, he has left uh, Mutual Consent FC, have a new member. Um, John Nolan, what's your feelings on this? It's It was always going to happen. You know, I don't think he was ever going to have a future at club. But uh, how are you feeling on this decision? Oh, it just it's another one of her signings where everybody goes back to that transfer window, which is quite frankly a disaster. Um, but I think we can only look back to that 
window and see how well we've done in the last two. So summer and, and, and January, which we'll talk about a little bit in the moment, the window that shut yesterday. That transfer window, we, we you know, with all those signings from League One when trying to make them into championship players, it just proved to be a complete disaster. Um, Nolan, I think, was one of the better players we've probably got um, in that window, but it just it hasn't worked out. He's, he's shown flashes. He had a half-decent goal record. I quite like the look of him when he was on the pitch. But when you get as many injuries as he has, he hasn't played for over a year. I mean, it's just bonkers. You can't keep a player like that hanging around your club when we have got better options now. We're fought in a fortunate position. Under Evans, we maybe still would have had him um, sort of hanging on to our coattails, trying to get him back, quicken his fitness back as soon as possible to get him back in the side. But, we, you know, we are hopefully now moving on and, and maybe better in terms of those sort of prospects now. We don't need players like John Nolan. Um, at the football club. So look, I hope he finds a club. I'm not saying he can't go on and have a decent career. I'd be surprised if he made it higher than League One. But who knows? Stranger things have happened in football. Good luck to him, but definitely the right decision to uh, release him. Wages off the wage bill. Maybe gives us some more man- manoeuvring room in the summer. Definitely indeed. And um, let's talk about um, Hayden Colson quickly. Um, his loan has been terminated. Um, unfortunately, injuries have happened to his time at the club as well. Um, he's now joined Peter Barr in the championship. Um, Going to be trying to fight relegation with them. Uh, once again, now a right decision. We, we signed Dominic Thompson this window. We'll get into the ends later on. But uh, right decision isn't it, on this one. Yeah, Coulson, he showed much promise when he, when he was on the pitch. Really nice touches, up and down, energetic. Uh, just he looks a bit lightweight. I think I, I I'm not a sports scientist. I'm not going to be able to tell you why he's getting injured. Of course not, and the club will know all the ins and outs in that regard. But he just looks quite lightweight. Whenever he picked up a knock or was in a for a strong challenge, you know, at, at Wickham, I was there that night, and that was a, a real um, sort of fifty fifty. Both players went for it. There's no no um, well not malice, but there's no foul. Um, it was just a real hard challenge, and he he hasn't played since. We haven't seen him since. It sounds like he is back on the grass now. He's getting back to fitness, but you you can't keep a player on loan. Um, at, at, you know, when you're looking for him to make a real impact in this side, you can't keep him on loan when he's going to be injured as many times as he has been. It's unfortunate. I think Dominic Thompson is a more than adequate re- um, replacement. He's come from a Premier League side with fantastic pedigree again. So, Coulson's definitely, again, the right decision um, just to cut our losses, get rid. He's gone to Peterborough. Good luck to him. I don't really like Peterborough, so I hope they still go down. But um, he may- maybe he'll get a string of um, a string of appearances there and uh, and show the capability that he definitely has. Yeah, and um, let's talk about other loan players. Gone out on loan. Uh, Bailey Clements, of course, was part of Paul Cook's team. Played a couple of games in League One. He's gone and signed for Stevenage. Uh, ben Morris has gone to Sweden. Uh, that little trip there. A few other players have done that in the past. Uh, Matt Healy, another youngster, has joined Cork City. And then we'll also round up other loans. Mars Kenlock, of course, went to Colchester a few weeks ago. Thomas Holy, the Port Vale. Lou Barry departed, and he's now joined Swindon Town. And, of course, Toto Enciala left the club. Um, to join Fleetwood Town. And um, that sort of rounds up to the exits, Ben. Um, any thoughts on those ones? I think, once again, it's just getting rid of, I hate to say it, Deadwood players, because they were, in a way, because they weren't playing games. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Toto made the most appearances for us this season out of those players you've just mentioned. Um, there's a few players there that are going to, again, have some potential, might come back. The youngsters like Clements. Um, I think Morris has been very highly thought of and has had two terrible knee injuries. So really hope he can get a run of games and come back to a stronger, fitter, stronger, see if he can fulfil some potential. Um, really unsure about um, anybody else in that list. I just can't see that we're going to regret the likes of Holy. Um, Toto, again, he's just not going to fit McKenna's style of football. On, on his day, he's a decent league one centre-half, but he has too many days where he's not on his day and it does stand out, unfortunately. When you're trying to play football, <laughs> teams were letting him have the ball because he know he can't pass out from the bank back Sorry, and then putting him under pressure. So there's no one you've just listed there, Ross, that I think we're going to miss. Um, I wish them all well. I think um, even your mate, Miles Kendlock, I hope he does well at Colchester. Obviously, he scored his first senior goal a couple of weeks ago. Good luck to him. But um, no, good to get rid of those players. Deadwood may be a bit harsh, but we do need to trim down. It was a hugely inflated squad at one point. So looking a bit, bit better in that regard. Definitely. And let's talk about the ins then. Um, there was only one deadline day signing and um, it was Nick Hayes, just a third choice goalkeeper. Um, of course, returning to the club, of course, was in the academy. Um, Rennie Gilmartin seems he highly rates him. So there we go. Um, ins later in the course, the window or early window was, of course, Christian Walton. We had did a video together, Ben, on reacting to that news. You were very happy. I think every town fan were happy that we signed him on a permanent deal. Of course, Macaulay Bond has remained. 
And then Dominic Thompson and Tyreek Bakerson have signed on loan from Bristol City and Brentford, respectively. Um, would you have wanted more players in, Ben? And how would you reflect on the window as a whole? I think until the window closed last night and you're there and a town fan scrolling through Twitter, looking at the club site, looking at various other sites, just see if there's any inkling, any rumours. You are desperate just because that's part of being a fan, that excitement. It's like that whole adage of when we win and lose, don't get too high, um, don't get too low. Um, but it's difficult, you know, as a, as a fan, you just want that excitement. You, you just want to see players coming through the door. So last night, it's probably no different to anybody else. You wanted to see a new addition. However, um, in the cold light of day, I have, I have had a thought about it. Um, when you sit down and look at the players that we've got in the squad, um, we've got so many players to call upon still. Real quality there. 23, 24 players I've made a count of um, who I think we're comfortable we could call upon uh, and they'd do a good job for us. So... Overall, delighted with the transfer window. Let's be realistic. We signed probably too many players in the summer, but we did need that overhaul. So maybe it's just one or two extras. And that's why you've seen the likes of Fraser leave. You know, we got Chilina in and late doors. Maybe that wasn't the plan. Um, so we had too many number 10s. But anyway, January transfer is a case of getting rid of those players that we no longer need, get the reinforcements when we needed to. So the likes of Corson's left, Dominic Thompson comes in. Brilliant signing, I think, from Brentford. Showed some flashes on Saturday up and down the left wing. You know, no one played well Saturday. Backinson again, I think he did okay at Wimbledon. Um, him and Carroll did quite well in the central midfield. Um, didn't play well on Saturday, but again, not many others did either. So let's give him a chance. In terms of the biggest signing, of course, like we said in our previous video, Walton is just a monumental signing for a club in our position. He's a top six championship goalkeeper. We've got him in mid-table League One side. Hopefully, you know, we're going to push for the playoffs, but he is a signing that we want to keep for many years. And getting signed, um, Bond just getting up for the end of the season, getting signed up for the end of the season. Everybody wanted him to sign. Um, obviously, he went on that fantastic goal-scoring run. I know he's been a little bit poor of late, but we just need to make a few more chances for him. And um, finger cross, he will come good in the second half of the season. So I think let's just see how far we've come, town fans. We've got to be um, excited. This new era is still in its infancy. We have moved on so quickly from the Marcus Evans era. January transfer window usually is absolute dross. It's just not, not interesting in the slightest. So, yes, frustration for 24 hours yesterday. But as a whole, I think we've got to be happy with what we've got. It's easier now for McKenna to have those bodies in the door. He knows what he's got. 23, 24 senior players. This is what we're working with. And even with that, we're still leaving five or six out each match day. So if, that, if we don't have any injuries or suspensions. So we've got enough. We've got quality there. We just need to be cohesive as a squad and uh, start picking up three points every week. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we need. And we're going to just quickly end the video with uh, Tyree Simpson. Of course, he's still here, got recalled from his loan spell from Swindon, was doing fantastically there. Then it was uh, contract issues. Um, he's still here, unfortunately. didn't get loaned out anywhere else. What's your feelings on this? I know a lot of town fans are disappointed for him, really, because now he could be sitting on our bench or may not even make the match day squad, as you mentioned. You know, if we did have Scott Fraser still here or these other players, they could have been not even in the match day squad. So... The Tory Simpson situation seems a bit of a mess. But, uh, yeah, what's your feelings on it? Yeah, like you said, Rossi, it does feel a bit of a mess. Um, we've brought him back, it seems. We don't know. It seems there's a contractual issue. He's, we're trying to get him to sign a new contract, which in one way it shows the club think a lot of him. Um, it would have been best for his development, let's be honest, that he stayed out alone for the season. He was ripping up trees at Swindon. Every bit of feedback you get from Swindon fans or you know the manager management at Swindon sh uh, have um, spoke glowingly in terms of his professionalism, his performances on the pitch. So I, I do feel uh, is a bit of an odd one. Um, I feel a little bit sorry for the player in this instance. It's, it seems like we are holding him to ransom, maybe slightly about signing a new deal. But then again, how many times have we had players flip it around the other way? I, I'm not saying this is Tari Simpson's fault, but isn't it nice as a club that we've, we've made a standpoint, we're sticking to it. You might say that you feel sorry for Simpson, but at the end of the day, if it's Town Football Club, we've got to look after if it's Town Football Club. If he signs a new deal, fantastic. We'll see how he gets on in the summer. He gets back in the side. He trains phenomenally under McKenna. He gets in the match day squad, gets on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. There's an injury. He starts a game. He scores. All works out well. So let's see how it pans out for the end of the season. It might be a case he doesn't get in the match day squad and unfortunately goes in the summer. And I feel that would be a bit of a mess and um, I would feel sad to see him go. But let's just see how it pans out. I don't think we know enough of the facts at this point. Um, yeah, hopefully see Tyrese on the pitch.
Yeah, that is the hope. Um, well, Ben, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, let us know in the comments down below, everybody, your thoughts on the window as a whole. I know a lot of you are disappointed. Uh, we shall see what happens for the rest of this season. Uh, we'll be back for many more videos soon, so stay tuned and see you then. Bye-bye for now.